Okay, so tonight this is going to be block. Oh, it's a little. I get it. There we go. This is going to be block two and three, their homework, and block one. We'll have that. To, we'll have this tomorrow in class. So we did problems one three and five on both blocks together in class. And then I was telling you that you were gonna to have to show your work, look at what strategies work best for you and apply it because from here on, we're looking at story problems. We're gonna be doing the same going every day with what division is about and that'll be next week. And then we're gonna be taking our unit tests the following week. Um, so we really need to stay on task. Um, when we get back from the Thanksgiving break, you're gonna be taking your next map test and then we're starting the next unit and we're going to try to take um the uh, another test and then probably the unit test right after we get back from the break so there's a lot going on um and we need to stay really attentive all right so let's get started number seven i'm going to kind of enlarge this one you're right here there we go remember you're only doing odd numbers if you want to do the others as practice go for it it's not required, but I'm not stopping you. Okay, so Sam and Justin each rent a bike for four hours. The rental price for one bike is $4.35 per hour. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, then the boys decide to ride together on a tandem, a tandem bike for another hour for $6.75. What is the total cost of the boys' bike rental? So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my information right over here. I'm gonna to try to keep that there. And I'm gonna put this part here. So this is gonna be number seven. It's really super important that you know the author's purpose. What do you need to find? And in here I have to find the total cost of the boy's bike rental. So here it is, the total cost of the boy's bike rental. So I have to write down to find the total cost of boys bike rental, period. All right, and the next thing that you need to write down, and it's not an option, I know, what are the facts that you know? This is what I, you know for sure. So going back into my story, I know that there's two people, Sam and Justin, and they're riding bikes for four hours. So Sam and Justin riding bikes. Oh, sorry about that. Riding bikes for four hours, that's important. I'm just gonna kind of, okay, so I have that there. That's what I know. I'm gonna go back into my story. The rental price for one bike is $4.35 per hour. Oh, and the key thing is they Justin, Sam and Justin um they rent they each rent a bike. So I'm gonna actually rephrase this here where Sam and Justin I'm gonna cross that out and put each rent and that's going to make it easier a bike for four hours so i'm going to kind of close that out and then close this out here we just fix that up right there so each rent a bike that's interesting okay for four hours then what else i know i know that one bike is four dollars and 35 cents per hour
$4.35 per hour. So that's for each hour, for hours. <laughs> that's so funny. Let me just kind of get rid of that part right there. Eh. All right. The next fact that I know says then the boys decided to ride together on a tandem bike for another $6.75. So rode together And how long do they ride? For another hour for $6. And I'm just gonna put for $6.75. So that's how much it costs them. Kind of reduce that just a bit. There we go. For $6.75. So these are the three facts that I know. And I know that I need to find the total cost of the boys' bike rental. Okay? And then that was it. All right, so now, how am I going to put this together? All right, so each bike, or each hour, it costs $4.35 per hour. Okay, so if I have Sam, and I'm just going to do it this way, we're going to break it down. He ended up paying, he rode for four hours, and each for each hour was four dollars and thirty five cents. So we can have it like this. And we can write Justin and do the same thing, right? Because they were doing that together for four hours. He rode for four hours and his bike was four dollars and thirty five cents each. So we can do it that way. And then combine them and then we know that we're going to do what? Yeah, add the $6.75 to it. But we can we do it a different way? Yeah, you can, I'm gonna just put or. I can have the four times $4.35, because how many people were there? Two, very good. So I can put times two, I'm gonna bracket this up, and then add plus $6.75. Does that make sense there? All right, well, let's see if they both work out. So let's work this part here. I'm going to have, I'm going to move this over, $4.35 times 4. I'm going to move this out. I'm going to say that it was two decimal places. I don't have anything here, so it's zero. So I'm going to make sure that I move it back in two decimal places. So four times five equals 20. Four times three is 12, 13, 14. Four times four is 16 plus one equals 17. I needed to move it in twice, one, two. So for four hours, it costs Sam to put S for Sam, $17.40. Okay. Now, then if that cost Sam, how much would it have cost Justin? Very good. It would have cost him the same thing, right? So this is Sam, and I'm going to add Justin, $17.40. That's zero, and I'm going to put a J here for Justin. Four plus four equals eight. 7 plus 7 equals 14, and 1, 2, 3. So, so far, they spent $34.80 to ride for four hours. But then they rode together on this tandem bike for $6.75. So, I'm going to bring this over here at $34.80. Plus, line up my decimals, seven, five, and then six is in the ones place. It's five, eight plus seven equals 15. Regroup my one. I'm bringing down my decimal here. 
6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 equals 11, 3 and 4. So how much should it cost them total? Very good. It cost them $41.55 total. So it... $41.55 for the total, move that up here, rental charges. Now I want to see if my order of operations work out as well. So I have four times $4.35. I've already found that multiplying that out was going to give me, I'm going to put this in brackets, $17.40 times 2. Keep that in brackets, plus $6.75. So I'm going to multiply that by 2, see if it's the same thing as here. So I'm going to I'm bring it down here so I don't have to. get it all up here in the in our other computations. I'm going to move this out twice. So 0 times 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. And look at that. Move it back in. And that's the same thing. $34.80. So I'm going to bring this here. $34 and 80 cents plus six dollars and 75 cents i'm going to stack it up and uh, are we going to get the same answer yes we sure are so it's 41 dollars and 55 cents so you can do it in any numerical expression but look at all the work i did for that one it didn't take that much time i am taking my time because i'm making sure that you're understanding on the story problems you got to know, does it answer my question? So to find the total cost of the boys' bike rental is $41.55 the total cost of the bike rental? Yes, it is. So here it's going to be $41.55. All right, we've got three more problems to go. Let's look at number five. Make sure I keep all my paperwork together. Okay, so number nine, Amelia spent $3.16 on peaches. Then she spent four times as much on raspberries. Oh, no. How much did she spend on peaches and raspberries? Oh, well, this isn't going to be too hard. This is a not bad at all. It's kind of like the one that we had on the other, the worksheet homework. I think it was on number, what, 15 or something? I don't remember the number, but um, you know what I'm talking about when we had to do the grades by the pound, um, problem 16. Okay, so let's look at this one here. What is the author's purpose? I'm going to write it out. Sometimes I put the abbreviation. Sometimes I'm going to write it out just so that your brain can remember. Okay, so I need to find... How much Amelia spent on peaches and raspberries? That PB just threw my brain out for a loop because it's more like raspberries berries, but the P's not really heard, right? Silent. Okay, so those of you that are showing your work, I'd love to show that off um, to Miss Wortham, and then she makes the announcements on the morning announcements. So do your best, show off, make sure that you do everything um, as you're being taught. What do you know in this one here? I know what. So make sure... Pause it, write it down, then turn me back on.
to see if you got it correct. So go, go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back. So did you have this down? I know that she spent $3.16 on peaches. And did you put down the other fact that she spent four times as much on raspberries? It's now I have to put it in my head, raspberries, just so that I can remember that P, right? But it's not pronounced with the P, raspberries. So how much is she spending all? So here I'm just gonna simply, my, my uh, expression or numerical expression, what would it be to find the total? Ah, I meant to put an R expression. Very good. Four times $3.16. Yes, you can do repeated addition or go to the handy dandy standard form. And move this out twice. So it's two decimal places times four. Four times six equals 24. Regroup. So I'm going to pretend that doesn't exist. Four times one is four plus two equals six. Four times three equals 12. I'm going to bring that back in two decimal places. One, two. And it cost her $12.64. Wow. So does that answer? So I'm going to put over here $12.64 for both peaches and rasp. That's so funny to say now. But I don't say it. Let's say raspberries. <laughs> That's so funny. Just, I don't know why it just made it funny for me tonight. Okay, so I know that is not, you would, um, it's going to be a $12.64. Okay, I'm having to look back. Is it really $12.64? No. What is this? I just found myself. So I'm not going to erase anything because is it one of those calculations that mess up? So if you figured it out, way to go, you. This is what cost. Yeah, this is the cost of the raspberries. I was trying to hurry. I was thinking about something else and distracted myself. That's the cost of the raspberries. I still need to add in. I'm going to cross that out. I need to add in the cost of the peaches, and the cost of the peaches was $3.16. Wow, so we need to really be super careful. I'm going to place over here $12.64. Now I need to add these here. So I'm going to do it right over here. I just put that in there to remind my brain to do that. So good job on it. I put that down. It's like, that doesn't seem right. I had to think about my problem, the, 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 what I did. So that's real easy to get confused, right? Well, at least for me, especially when my brain went off trail to think about something else that I needed to finish up. So six plus four equals 10, six, seven, eight, bring down my decimal, three, four, five, and one. So the total cost, That makes more sense. So I have $15.80 for both peaches and raspberries now. All right, that makes more sense to me. This is the cost of the raspberries. So I started looking at here and it's like, okay, that's raspberries. That's why I was like, hmm. And it's, I had to go back and think it's like, well, this is two pounds and so of grapes I mean, and peaches, I mean, but I only bought $3.16 for it. So it's like 
Something's not right. And I had to really think about it. Oh, good catch, good catch. Let's look at number 11. So there you go. So if you need to take a look at that, freeze the screen so you can look. Okay, I'm going to move on. Oh, so glad I saw that. Our next one is number 11. So Sonia counts the coins in her coin purse. I do that. Do y'all do that? I do it. She has seven quarters. Ooh, we talked about this yesterday or day before. 11 dimes and 15 nickels. She has two more pennies than the number of quarters and dimes combined. What is the value of Sonia's coins? Very interesting. How many's mind just went boom? We're not going to make it complicated. We're going to make it very easy. Let's take this apart. Author's purpose. I'm going to put AP for author's purpose. I need to find the value of Sonia's coins. It's real simple. All right. Here's what I know. She has seven quarters. What are the value of quarters? We've been talking a lot about this in class. That's going to be 25 cents. Because we're talking about money, we'll say 25 cents. It's 2,500. It's very good. 11 dimes. Very good. One tenth or ten hundredths. Good job. Fifteen nickels. Okay, so it's five hundredths. Or that's the way we write out the, the value for the nickel. You can barely see that one in there. It's hidden on that line. So we have 25 cents, 10 cents, and five cents. She has two more pennies than the number of quarters. Okay, so the number of quarters is seven. She has two more pennies. So how many pennies does she have? Very good. So I'm going to put seven plus two equals nine pennies. What did I do? Look at what I just did. Then the, she has two more pennies than the number of quarters and dimes combined. Uh-oh. Okay, so combined. So let's take a look at that. All right. So here, let's look. It said that you had two more pennies than the number of quarters and dimes combined. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to cross this out here. I have seven quarters plus 11 dimes, that equals to 18. And I have two more pennies than, than the combined, so I'm gonna add two to it. So how many pennies do I have? 20 pennies. And we're gonna write that at being, okay. So now I'm gonna have 20 pennies. And I'm just going to cross this out. I know I usually say just draw a line. I want you to ignore that. So I had 17 quarters, 11 dimes. This is combined, the 18, plus two more pennies than what they have. So there's 20 pennies. Does that make sense? Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started. What is 25 times seven? Okay, well, if I know that four quarters make a dollar and I'm left with three left, so it's gonna be a dollar 75. I just kind of figure that out. You could have multiplied this out. Seven times five is 35. Seven times two is 14, 15, 16, 17, and then moved it back in. Okay, so this is going to be my quarters. My dimes, oh, well, I know that 10 dimes make a dollar. 11 times would be a dollar 10. So this is going to be a 
$1.10. And I just figured that out because just counting the dimes, we've used the flats. There's 10 rods that make a flat. So that's one hole plus my dime left over. Okay, let's look at the 15 nickels I have. 15 I'm going to move this out one two so it becomes a five so five times five equals 25 five times one equals five plus two is 75 and I'm bringing that back in and it's 75 cents and I'm looking at my pennies well that's 20 cents 20 pennies, that was easy peasy, equals 20 cents. I'm going to add them all together. So I'm going to stack them. $1.75, $1, see what I'm doing, stacking my, and my decimals right in line. I'm gonna, here I have my decimal point 75, zero goes here, and then my decimal point 20. 5, 10, 7, 8, 9, well, let me do it this way, 14, 7 plus 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bring down my decimal, carry my 1, 1, 2, 3. So in our coin purse, there's a total of $3.80. Wow, it's a lot of weight in our little coin purse, answer A. All right, so I'm going to leave that there so that you can freeze the screen if you need to go back. There we go. Got to find the author's purpose. What do you know? And then solve. All right, let's go to the last one. Freeze it if you need to. Going to the last problem, which is 13. Wow, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. At the farmer's market, um, heirloom potatoes cost $5.99 a pound. Ooh, beef steak tomatoes cost $3.19 a pound. Ouch. And cherry tomatoes cost $2.99 a pound. So Joe bought two pounds of each of tomatoes. So how much did he spend on tomatoes? Wow. Author's purpose. This is pretty straightforward, right? What do we need to find out? Very good. To find how much Joe spent on tomatoes. Okay, here's what I know. I know that heirloom, H-E-I-R-L-O-M, tomatoes cost okay so heirloom tomatoes cost heirloom five dollars and nineteen cents or ninety nine cents but I also know that he bought two pounds of each type so I'm just going to put times two next one Beef steak. Tomatoes. It's $3.19 a pound, and he bought two pounds. The next one is cherry tomatoes. And he spent $2.99 a pound, and he bought two pounds of that. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the math. I'm going to $5.99. I'm just going to add it up like this. I can do it. Multiplication. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 18, that's 19, 10, 11. Wow, that's just on. I'm going to put HT. The next one, $3.19. I'm going to put times 2. I'm just going to do it different so that you can see it. 9 times 2 is 18. 
2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 equals 3. So that's six dollars and thirty-eight cents, and that's going to be for BT. Um, and then the next one is two ninety-nine times two. Move this out. So nine, two times nine is 18, it's 18, 19. Two times two is four plus one is five. So that was 5.98 and that was for cherry tomatoes. And now I'm gonna add them up together. 11, $6.38, $5.98. Eight plus eight plus eight is the same as three times eight, that's 24. Nine and nine, that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm going to bring down my decimal. That's 11, 12, 13, 14. And two. So the total amount spent on just tomatoes, it's $24.34. And that was pretty straightforward. All right, guys, that was it for this evening. Um, practice, practice, practice on those multiplication facts. You guys have a great night. Bye.